Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at your next major relationship, basically who that's going to be with. And of course, I'm going to have a more in-depth version because the purpose of this reading is to more so identify the zodiac sign, what they look like, random things we could find out about this individual and also how you may meet this person. And on my Patreon, okay, welcome to my Patreons or hey to my Patreons out there. I'm saying welcome. Hey to my Patreon community. Um, I will give you guys the deets in terms of what the relationship will consist of and what that interaction will be like, okay? So if you want to join our community over there, my, my new community, definitely click the link below and... Yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Any information you need will also be listed below. But, all right, Taurus. Um, so what I'm getting the sense of when I was actually meditating, I wanted to say this first. When I was meditating on your energy, I was getting the energy of this being somebody who you may actually already know. Now, don't freak out when I say this. I'm not really meaning an ex. I mean, if it resonates to be an ex, then that's a different situation. But um, this feels like somebody who you know already. This could be a friend who you never really looked at in a romantic sense. It may have been like, oh, this person's cool. Yeah, I know they're attractive, but they're cool. I don't really want to cross the boundaries there. Or you just... You never really looked at them that way, especially if they've always been connected to someone else and it's always been just like friendly. But like a friendship may slowly but surely develop into like a, a slight relationship for a lot of you in the sense of like you, for instance, like connecting with this person on a deeper level. This could be you vent into this person a lot and them being that shoulder to cry on and you realize, dang, okay, this person's kind of cute and there's somebody who I can talk to and I feel comfortable with and you guys might start to, you know, really hit it off. Or this connection feels so much more so like a friendship um, in the sense of you guys really vibing with each other and really connecting with each other beyond just like the physical, like sexual aspect or even being attracted to each other. But more so feeling like, okay, this is a, a true person in my corner. This is somebody who has my back. Um, another thing I'm kind of getting here. Hmm. This feels like a, a relationship that's built to last, mainly because it doesn't feel forced and it doesn't feel rushed either. It feels like, okay, I'm going to take my time with this. And this is the mindset that you and this person may have now um caution or warning i guess i should throw out there make sure that you don't get the urge of taking something too you know far too fast just because really take your time with your next connection and anybody who you end up dating who values taking their time to get to know you and, and all that stuff that's going to be the one to give you a heads up but, okay, um, another thing I'm feeling about this connection, this person may really make you feel good in terms of, like, boosting your self-esteem and not saying that you need that, but they could be the type to where they compliment you, like, they go above and beyond to make it clear, like, I love the way you look, or I love your outfit today, or I noticed that you changed your hair, or, you know, you look handsome today, like, things like that. This person, um, they like to speak words of affirmations. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Um, I kind of, all right, I'll say it, but I'm gonna make it PG-13. Okay, this person may be really good in bed. And I'm gonna just leave it at that because YouTube will not let me get into uh, those things. Maybe on the extended version, I'll get into that a little bit more, but I'm not getting blocked by YouTube for that. But just know that this person may be really good in bed too. That may be something that really catches you off guard. All right, but I'm going to flip the camera. Let's go ahead and see what this person looks like, what they are, they're like in general. Um, and yeah, the extended version will be. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what zodiac sign you're dealing with, Taurus. Keep in mind, this could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. 
And yes, you should also just take in consideration that these may be the characteristics more than just the zodiac signs. But first one that we have, we have Leo that came up. And this person may be very expressive, creative, playful, self-confident, flirtatious. They may be somebody who's very extroverted, very social. They could have like this very gravitating pull to them in terms of them, I don't know, their energy or something about maybe even the way they look may be something that kind of draws you in or draws people in in general. I also have Libra. So harmonious. This could be somebody who's very cooperative or I don't want to say a people pleaser, but they could be the type to where they kind of do things to kind of keep the peace and it may inconvenience them in the process. So they will go above and beyond to kind of keep the peace in a relationship if you guys were to, to take this person serious. Okay, the car is just flipping out today. Um, this person could be very um, diplomatic. They may be very smart. I get the energy that this person may be um, like a, a public speaker, somebody who works at a college or maybe a teacher or something like that. Okay, we have Curious with this Gemini energy. Blunt, this person could be very straightforward with the way that they communicate. They don't like to mince their words. Um, they could seemingly have two types of personalities and they could be very unpredictable. We also have Virgo energy. And yeah, this individual could be very, like I said, um, well-spoken or they may be somebody who's into like writing or something with like speaking or communication. It's a lot of like mercury energy here. A lot of mercury energy. Taurus. Is there anything that my Taurus need to know in regards to their next major relationship? Is there anything? This person could also live like a very holistic lifestyle. They may um, live by like eating natural or they may use very natural products. Like something about them seems very conscious okay so we have in the near future that came out Taurus we also have within the next few months so yeah uh, what you need to know is this connection is going to be coming at you pretty fast I don't think that this is going to be like a a year from now type situation within like the next month or two you may actually meet this individual okay and spirit is saying you need to make sure that you're open and willing that you're closing any cycles that haven't been closed yet in order for you to be able to acknowledge this connection when it comes in because some of you are still in this in-between state here. All right, some of you already know that. All right, let's see what the charms have to say. I'm dropping them all on the floor. There's a reason why I put it in my sound bowl. Um, okay, so this person could be seemingly nervous when you first meet them. Like they may say things where it's like, huh? Um, but it's out of nervousness. They may offer up like too much information about themselves initially. Um, this person could be a doctor. Or a psychologist I'm hearing. Hmm. I'm dropping my charms all on the floor. Um, I also see like this person may dress very well. Like something about them. It's either they have like their own style and it's like, okay, I like your style. I like the way that you dress. Or it's like they... They dress very um, stylish, like very business professional, like something about that. They may even have their like own clothing line or something. Let's 
Hmm. Let's see. Let me pour the rest of these out. Okay, this could be a cancer or a water sign. Even though I didn't pull any water energy, I just keep getting a lot of symbolism of water. So this could be a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio too. Because um, I just keep seeing way too much water energy in these charms. Okay, this person may do something with entertainment or may want to do something with entertainment. They may be like talented at something involving like music or um, like I, I just keep seeing stuff around like this person being talented at something. Or them them being a good way, they know, I'm getting so tongue tied because there's so many messages coming through. They may be uh, the type of person who's like a smooth talker. They know exactly how to talk themselves into certain opportunities. All right, um, let's see what this person may look like. Okay, so what's the energy around what this person may look like? Okay, so this person may be a little bit shorter than you or just their average height isn't the tallest, okay? Even if they're not shorter than you, they just may not be the tallest, especially if there's a male. Um... This individual may have blue eyes or they like to wear blue contacts. Um, this person could have shorter hair or be bald if they're a guy. They could be brown or darker skin. They could have hazel-ish eyes or like to wear those type of contacts. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting that they may have, um, if this is a woman, they may, may like to wear their hair like silky straight, even though it may naturally be like curly. If this is a guy, he may be more mus muscular or toned. Hmm. This person may be um, very sociable. I just keep getting the energy of them being either successful in their career or somebody who like does work where it's um, connected to having to speak to people, maybe doing something with sales. Okay, um, if this is a woman, she may be... Um, either tan or have like a brown, a darker hue to her skin. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here because I can go on forever. But um, we're gonna finish this off on the other side. If you wanna see the rest, check out my Patreon. I will have the extended version where we go into what the connection will be like. And that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna get into your sex life, all that stuff. So um, join me there and I will see you later.